Today's story is Mary and Her Little Lamb by Will Moses. This is a new story for Eileen Colby. Mary and Her Little Lamb. Mary and Her Little Lamb, the true story of the famous nursery rhyme by Will Moses. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow, and everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. He followed her to school one day, that was against the rule. It made the children laugh and play to see a lamb at school. That's a lamb. Mary Elizabeth Sawyer loved animals. Every animal in the barn and farmyard knew her. The horses, the pigs, and the cows all neighed and oinked and mooed when she came to visit. But no animals were happier to see her than the sheep. You can see her in the farmyard with all of the animals. One early morning, when she went to the barn with her father, she found two little lambs in the sheep pen. They had been born while she was sleeping. They both were tiny, but one had been born smaller and frailer than the other, and its mother had turned it away. The little lamb was all alone, shivering, hungry, and very sick. When she looked up to Mary with her big brown eyes and let out what a weak little baa, it just about broke Mary's heart. I'll save you, Mary said as she cuddled the little lamb in her arms and carried her back to the farmhouse. And into the farmhouse they went. A lamb in the house, said Mary's mother. Oh, Mary. But Mary hugged the little lamb close. Please, she said. Please, mother, let me keep her. She's so sick. Mary begged and pleaded until her mother finally said, All right then, Mary, but she is your responsibility. Then with a sigh, she brought the little lamb some of her special catnip tea. Mary's mother wanted the lamb to get better, too. Mary wrapped the lamb in an old linen dress and held her close, feeding her drops of catnip tea all through that dreary March day, worrying all the while. Finally, around supper time, the little lamb began to swallow the warm milk Mary's father had brought in from the barn, and soon enough her eyes brightened. Oh, little lamb, Mary said, maybe you will live after all. But deep down, Mary still wondered. The lamb was so small and weak. Mary spent the cold night in front of the fireplace with her little lamb, snuggling with her and keeping her warm. She wasn't sure if the lamb would make it until morning. But when Mary woke up, she was happy to see the lamb was not only alive, but was standing up on her sturdy little legs. In no time at all, the lamb was following Mary everywhere that she went, down the lane, over the meadow, across the falls, and even into town. What a dear little lamb you are, Mary said, as they ran together down the road. Mary washed her little lamb, combed out the burrs, and tied pretty ribbons in her wool. The lamb loved Mary, too. She would close her eyes and hang her head for Mary so she could brush the lamb's woolly locks. Once the lamb was well, Mary put her in the pen with the other sheep, but she wouldn't stay. Instead, the little lamb slept in a corner of the woodshed, made especially for her by Mary. And when grazing in the pasture, she preferred the company of horses and cows. What a dear little lamb, Mary giggled when she saw the lamb playing.
One long summer days, Mary and her lamb would pick flowers and make daisy chains. Since Mary's friends lived far away, the lamb became her best playmate. Mary would dress up the little lamb and host tea parties in the meadow. The lamb would merrily play along, happy to be with her best friend. This is a picture of where they live. On the first day of school, just as Mary started down the lane, she remembered that she had not said goodbye to her little lamb. Mary called out across the meadow, and soon enough the snow white lamb came running. What a dear little lamb you are, said Mary with a wave goodbye. I'll see you when school lets out. So Mary's off to school. But as Mary continued on, the lamb was close behind. Through the meadows and over the stone walls, she followed, even when Mary took the shortcut across the narrow footbridge. Before long, they were at the schoolhouse. With a look over her shoulder, Mary walked through the schoolroom door. And the little lamb followed. She trod right in, bold and proud, just as if she had always belonged there. She pranced over the worn plank floor, her little black hooves clattering all the way to Mary's desk, where she quickly made herself at home under Mary's seat. Mary tossed a quilt over her little friend to keep her hidden as they settled into the school day. When Mrs. Kimball arrived at the school, she brought with her a visitor, Mr. John Rulestone. By the time Miss Kimball rang the school bell and began the day's lesson, almost all of the children in the school knew there was a lamb under Mary's desk and were trying hard not to laugh. Soon enough, though, Miss Kimball called up Mary to come to the front of the room to recite the lesson. Mary slowly walked down the aisle, hoping her lamb wouldn't follow. At first, Mary walked alone, but then she heard a click, 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 click over the floorboards behind her. It was her lamb, wearing the blanket. Mary had thrown on top of her. The students cheered, whistled, and laughed. Even Miss Kimball and Mary herself could not help but laugh at the sight of the little lamb who had gone to school. While the children are laughing, and so amused that the little lamb was following Mary to school. Mr. Rulestone was so amused by the spectacle of the lamb in school that the next morning he returned to the schoolhouse. Calling Mary to him, he handed her a piece of paper upon which he had written. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. He followed her to school one day. That was against the rule. It made the children laugh and play to see a lamb at school. As the sun set later that evening, Mary gathered her family around and recited the poem for everyone to hear. And all the while, she wore colored ribbons through the woolly locks of her happy, contented, and now famous little lamb. The End Mary and Her Little Lamb by Will Moses I love you, Riley. I love you, Colby. One and good night. Mwah!